Narcan is considered a life-saving drug in the ongoing opioid epidemic, but if agencies in South Carolina aren't reporting when they use it, the medication may not be on hand when it's needed. Caitlin Stansel's Live 5 investigation led to changes at the Charleston County Sheriff's Office. She discovered the agency had not been upholding the requirements that keep deputies stocked with the drug that's been credited with saving so many lives. In many cases, it's a Charleston County deputy who is the first to an overdose call. I could see that she was definitely in need of the Narcan. Deputy Leonard Thompson remembers the first time he had to bring a woman back from the brink of death using a tool he carries every day. She was laid back on the couch. Um, so at that point, I knew it was the real thing. I actually administered one. I didn't get any response, and then I gave her the second dosage, and that's when she, she woke up. It was kind of like coming back from the dead, like, you know, a, a quick burst of light. Thompson is one of 269 Charleston County deputies trained to use Narcan, and they've been carrying the drug to every call for almost two years. It's such an impact on, on our daily duties, and it's, it's things that we're running across increasingly. So, you know, this year, for example, from January to July, we've had 13 and it's not slowing down. And we realize that if there is a way to save somebody's life, which, you know, that's 13 lives just the first half of this summer, this year that we have saved, you know, that's just something that's that's absolutely you have to have as an agency. The Charleston County Sheriff's Office is a part of the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Controls Law Enforcement Officer Naloxone Program. A grant pays for and supplies deputies with a prescription for these Narcan nasal sprays. They're easy to use, but there's only one dose per package. The numbers are increasing across the board between EMS, law enforcement, and fire department. It could be that we have more officers trained and there's more Narcan out there, but the trend seems to be that the exposures and the overdoses are increasing. But to keep Narcan in the hands of first responders, DHEC needs to know when the drug is used so it can be replaced. But I found Charleston County Sheriff's Office wasn't always reporting their numbers right away, something DHEC officials called concerning. When we teach, we have the officers and we assure them that they need to report into the portal because they cannot get a replacement. And also the information that we need comes from that portal to see where the overdoses are occurring, to see if there's a trend going on. In 2017, the deadliest year reported so far for opioid overdoses in Charleston County, the Sheriff's Office was not yet a part of the Leon program. Then, in 2018, Charleston County Sheriff's Office reported seven Narcan administrations. Far below the 80 Greenville County Sheriff's Office reported, another county dealing with a high number of opioid deaths. But I found Charleston County deputies had actually responded to more than double the number of incidents than what was being reported to DHEC that year. We know we're deploying it and we want to make sure that, you know, the state who's, who's in charge of prescribing this, we want to make sure they have an accurate representation of what we're, what we're administering. Captain Roger Antonio says our questions revealed there was a delay in getting accurate numbers to DHEC's database. So to streamline that, we've designated a admin assistant here at the sheriff's office, and that's going to be, you know, one of her duties. Officials maintain Narcan is simply a rescue tool, not a solution to the opioid epidemic plaguing the state. We need to continue the emphasis that we're doing with the other programs that we have on the rehabilitation, the treatment, and the law enforcement aspect of stopping these products from coming into South Carolina. For now, deputies like Thompson feel grateful to have the training and ability to use Narcan. If we can administer it and, you know, eliminate the amount of time that it's building up, you know, the quicker the better. So I, I'm ecstatic to have it. From Charleston County. Caitlin Stansel, Live 5 News Investigates. Narcan is considered a life-saving drug in the ongoing opioid epidemic. But if agencies in South Carolina are not reporting when they use it, the medication might not be on hand when it's needed for overdose victims. And Caitlin Stansel discovered a delay in reporting from one local law enforcement agency. 269 Charleston County deputies are trained to use Narcan and they've been carrying the drug to every call for almost two years. 
The Charleston County Sheriff's Office is a part of the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Controls Law Enforcement Officer Naloxone Program, also known as the Leon Program. A grant pays for and supplies deputies with prescriptions for Narcan nasal sprays. But to keep this medication in the hands of first responders, DHEC needs to know when the drug is used so it can be replaced. But I found Charleston County Sheriff's Office wasn't always reporting their numbers right away, something DHEC officials called concerning. Tonight in my Live 5 News investigation, I'll tell you what changes the law enforcement agency has had to make to ensure there are no more delays.